We'd like to welcome you to the senior panel from the Bonn of Schomburg. We, we meet monthly to discuss issues of the past, the present, and we always look forward to the future which is to come. Today we're going to look back into our childhood and try to remember the games and fun that we used to have outdoors. Perhaps in listening to us, some of your grandchildren may be inspired to try some of these time-tested games. When we were young, we didn't face the problem of obesity. We were active with many games. We found ourselves playing ball games, chasing games, jump rope, hopscotch, hide and seek. In the summer, we'd spend most of our time out of doors playing, just going in for meals if we had time for that, and bedtime. If we were bored and told our parents that, they'd say, well, go out and play. And we did. We went outside and we played and had a wonderful time. However, that type of activity has been curtailed by a changing society. Cars and traffic now line the streets that we used to play on. Uh, they used to be our playground. Uh, the diversity of games that have been replayed, been uh, tried by paid organized activities have taken away the spontaneity of what children do today. And technology has also stepped into the picture with all the various games that tie the children to TV, to video, to cell phones, like Wii games and things like that. So we're going to take a look at our childhood and think of the games that we had and how and what we played. And we know that playing outside was a social activity. We learned to get along with others, share responsibilities, and develop leadership. Do you remember playing Choosing Sides? How many remember that? <laughs> okay, how did you go about selecting or choosing sides whenever you played a game? Because it was always a competition, but a friendly competition. We used to play one potato, two potato, three potato, four. And then, yeah. of course, if you were on the sixth, you were out. <laughs> and the last one standing had to choose the first person, and we went back and forth. Do you remember any ways of choosing sides? Well, what we did is we would just all gather on the playground and the boys and girls of the neighborhood, all ages too, and the oldest boy and the oldest girl got to pick. So they usually just started out with what they, who they thought was the toughest for Red Rover, Red Rover, and then we went on down. But every child got to play. Right. Everybody mm -hmm. did. But they usually pick the best ones oh, first, yes. and if you were last. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. How about you, Bonnie? You remember It was anything? similar to Barbara's. Uh, we'd have uh, two designated team captains, and they would get to choose who they wanted. Naturally, they would choose the, the one they thought would be the best, the one that would win the game. And, and it would go on down to the last people who were usually humiliated by them. But, <laughs> but that was a lesson in itself. <laughs> you better believe it. Yes. Right. Lisa, mm -hmm. how about you? Um, we very similar. Uh, the strong personalities kind of were the the, the heads of the two teams. Um, but we also did the baseball bat thing too, where you oh, did the hand yeah. over hand. Oh, yeah. You know, and whoever that. whoever got there on the top, they were the first one to pick. And mm -hmm. uh, right. And um, yeah. And you know, you were saying that the last ones were kind of humiliated. <laughs> humiliated. Yes. But you know, sometimes in the long run, those little ones. Or, or, turned or the, out to be the better. Turned one. out to be the better kids. Harder. So uh, they did. <laughs> they did. So in I the end, it was even. Yeah, I just liked it that the big kids would let me play. I didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was more yeah. fun. So really, a lot of times, it was this that you got to play with the big kids. Oh, yeah. Right. Otherwise, so I wouldn't look at you. And yeah. the girls could play with the boys. Oh, oh, they, oh <laughs> yes. We had oh. our whole neighborhood used to get involved. That's right. right. Yeah. It was the whole neighborhood, and it was boys and girls. And sometimes the girls were the toughest. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, we also used to put our hands in back and go once, twice, three, shoot. Oh, oh, and that I taught guess. us evens and odds uh -huh. because that was a way of selecting too. So we were learning math along with uh, <laughs> playing the game. Mm -hmm. So it really, it really was fun. It was really democratic. We didn't oh. argue whoever became captain or the leader of the game. It was done fairly. Okay, now games have changed over times and with the invention of rubber and its import to Europe in the 18th century, it led to many different types of balls. And I don't know if you ladies are a lot <laughs> younger than me, but we used to have these little red spalding balls. And when you pink, I should say, and when you bounce them, they went really, really high. Can you think of any games that you played, you know, just with balls uh, in your youth? Well, I remember Jax. That had the teeniest ball of all. But on a rainy day, I would be in the kitchen. I'd be on the floor, and I'd be playing Jax with my sister. Right. And I remember right. that. And they would really bounce high, too. Right. <laughs> Did anybody play stoop ball? We used to throw the ball against the stoop. If it hit the point and you caught it on a fly, it was 100 points. If it hit in the angle, then that was only 10 points if you caught it on a fly. And then five points. So we were learning math when we were playing. Mm -hmm. So can you think of any other ball of the games that you play with the balls? Kickball. We played a lot of kickball as yes. kids with the big, you know, the big kickball. And that, again, you choose the team. There would be the two teams, and then you know everybody would have their position, and uh, and yeah, little or big, it it didn't matter, mm -hmm. the whole neighborhood, girls and boys, and but kickball was really big, right? But mm -hmm. you know, okay. you were saying stoop ball, like, we didn't call it stoop ball, but we did do something like that with the ball. We used the garage, we oh. would hit it against the garage, <laughs> which our parents were not too happy about because it left those ball marks everywhere. <laughs> My mother yeah. wasn't very happy because if we hit the front door, there's glass in the door. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Well, balls were really, you know, quite in. You said kickball. I think something that's coming back now is dodgeball. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, that very has popular. drifted on the side for quite a while. Right. But uh, that's come back. And then we used to play punch ball, too. We'd bounce mm -hmm. the ball and hit it, play just like baseball. You used to run your bases, mm -hmm. or we'd uh, throw it, uh, let it bounce and hit it. Whichever way you would get the hot, furthest hit, that was what you did. I was the punch ball chick. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I remember that game very much. <laughs> yeah, I, we never played that. No. Well, mm -hmm. I guess, you know, where you live, too, uh, yes, like I'm regional. from the East Coast, and you ladies are all from basically, you know, the Midwest here, so yes. games are kind of different. Do you recall any chase games? You mentioned Red Rover. How was that played? Oh, we, we played it during recess at school. We played it when we got home. Mm -hmm. It was two teams, and you would kind of, Bonnie here. Hold hands. Yeah, okay. you would hold hands. Or, or you would interlock arms like, you know, oh, like yes. this. <laughs> and then you, you would say, Red Rover, Red Rover, let, you know, Bonnie come over, and she would run, and she'd have to break that. That You'd have bonding. to break through oh, that yeah. line. The line. Oh. Almost like a mini football. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, as Benjamin Franklin did say, games lubricate the body and the oh, mind. Yes. Oh, and I think playing Red Rover really greased us up. We'll be back with after a short break. Thank you. Thank you.